Eine Frau ist tot. Oder hat sie getötet? Wir wissen nicht, was davon wahr ist. Wie lässt sich ihre Seele ergründen? It's, it starts from loneliness, of course. And loneliness in the forest, it's, uh, it's very special. I mean, why we are here, why are we alone? It's very much about the winter landscape, the emptiness, the silence. And this is uh, something I try to build uh, on stage. Die Liebe einer Frau wird nicht mehr erwidert, also will sie sterben. Ein antikes Drama muss mit dem Heute konfrontiert werden. I, I mean, we would forget about the Dido and Nea from mythology. We, we started to rewrite the story. I mean, anyway, this music demands a kind of emotional fulfillment of characters. Mostly it was something which is coming from, I mean, Dido or the woman, uh, the main character of uh, Schoenberg. She created a story with her as a main protagonist. It starts with one girl who tries to take notes and to write everything and she's making the memories of her trip. And her trip is uh, sometimes nothing to do with reality. She's going through. We've announced this as Dido and Evartum, that the secret behind the scenes is that we need something between the two operas because the orchestra changes hugely. Purcell is using quite a small orchestra by modern standards, it's tiny. So we need time to get the orchestra in without disturbing the evening. We want the evening to run as one. I think this was Krzysztof Walikowski's idea to have some music brought in. It's, you could say, minimal music. It's a loop of music, so repeating, repeating, repeating. The interlude is an ostinato. That's, you know, a lot of minimal music, that's what it is. In a way, Purcell has been using quite simple forms and, and a lot of ground basses, ostinatos. So he's taken, you could say, the essence of Baroque music and he's created the interlude and then lets us into Evartung, where the one thing that does happen in Evartung, there's no melody, there's no normal harmony in the normal sense, there's very little rhythm you can hold on to, but there are some ostinatos in Schoenberg. We look at a piano keyboard, it's got white notes and black notes. Schoenberg looked at it not as a succession of notes which sort of relate to one another. He decided to ignore that relation He then starts from that moment where each note is its own thing and he then built up a whole other system and so he's building in a very weird way but there's a logic to it. it if you might hear it and think, is this random, is this guy just crazy? And what he's done is he's, he's created clusters of notes and very often you're hearing th at least three, more often four or even six notes in clusters which are clashing with each other but because he's using this system throughout when you almost are expecting the whole piece is going to break apart there is a logic to it a very hard logic that's holding the piece together der zustand des wahnsinns tritt ein die gewohnte ordnung verliert ihre gültigkeit was ihr jetzt machen müsst, ist das Cembalo nach hinten schieben und die Pulte hinstellen. Das probieren wir jetzt dann mal zu timen. So, Purcell Orchestra must be replaced by Schoenberg Orchestra. Then you must create a transition part in order uh, that you don't make, uh, you don't stop. So, uh, my idea was first to start with Dido and, uh, of course, this transition moment would be connected to the murder. I mean, I must find something which 
suggested. I mean, how Dido dies, does she die? Uh, did she kill? Or it just madness of this uh, woman? That's why for me, the best was like enter in her story. She's writing. Handelt es sich also um eine unwirkliche Geschichte? Womöglich sind auch Gedanken Wirklichkeit. Feel yourself. We, we, where it's going? Yeah, it's going to uh, something with what Schoenberg starts with a monodrama of a woman who uh, did kill. Uh, her lover, she might have killed as well the woman, so uh, it's finishing bad. Am Ende sind wir vielleicht doch alleine mit uns selbst. I think this is a, a, a fascinating piece and it's very important for Schoenberg. He, it comes at a time in his life when there's been terrible turmoil, where he's, he's split up with his wife, she's been off with another man. That man then killed himself, a younger man. So terrible uh, trauma going on in his life. But he focused, and I believe he wrote this piece very quickly, uh, he focused on trying to get inside the head of a woman who's, who's also going through great trauma.